started playing basketball when I was 14 years old in England. Um, basketball wasn't actually my first love, tennis was, but tennis wasn't working out um, back then. Very expensive to do private coaching. Um, had a lot of siblings, and so me being six foot three at the time, uh, I had a conversation with my dad, and we just decided to uh, pursue basketball. And so started when I was 14 and kind of just skyrocketed up, um, picked up really quickly. Didn't love it at first, to be honest, uh, but I was just really good at it. So um, I got the opportunity to go to high school in America, in New Jersey. I went to Blair Academy. Um, and then afterwards, I went to Harvard University, played basketball there for three years and got my bachelor's. And after that, I went to USC and got my master's. I played for one year at USC. When did you first kind of start falling in love with basketball, saying this is something I can kind of do to the next level? Um, to be honest, I knew I could get to the pros, let's say, um, when I first started playing. I didn't love it, but I realized I was really good. Like I picked things up really quickly, very athletic. Although I was very fragile and skinny, um, I, I believe that that's somewhere I could go if I wanted to. So it wasn't necessarily that I loved it back then, but I just knew that I could get to the pros and I wanted to do that because why not? Um, started loving it more when I, um, it's kind of been a work in progress really, you know, love-hate relationship type of thing because uh, back in the day I was riddled with well, one injury, which is patella tendinopathy and that kind of gets in the way of your love for the sport when you basically can't move. Um, so it was difficult, but I'm growing now I'm stronger than I've ever been and it's just becoming something that I love to do um, as my body is in less pain I feel more and more excited to be on the court and just dominate um, because I can I feel like I'm able to so. right. how did you overcome that injury how did you say I'm gonna get back up and go again um, well it's not about me per se it was about uh, the trainer I'm working with actually. I've met him through um, my partner, Mark, and his name is David Buer. He's a trainer. I met him in Los Angeles when I was in USC. He, long story short, picked me up. He realized that, well, he just, from me walking, he was like, you have knee pain. Um, and so he's, anyway, he sorted me out with uh, insoles for my shoes and you know, my feet to optimally align my body so that I'm moving in the correct alignment and the kind of training that we do um, strengthens my body mentally and physically um, and I'm just the strongest I've ever been um, and so that's kind of prepared me um, to be to basically dominate on the court but also it's kind of managed my knee pain a bit too because now that my surrounding muscles are strong and able to absorb the impact of basketball there's less pain. When was your first time meeting Rich? First time meeting Rich? I, I think that was 2000 and 2008 or 2009. Um, after coming to New Jersey. Actually, maybe 2008. Coming, after, uh, coming to New Jersey for uh, high school at Blair. Met him through Sue Altman, who was my coach at the time. And I think she took me to hoops one day. And yes. History from there. What was your first impression of Rich? Um, oh gosh, I have such a bad memory. Um, I think I just I remember him as just being a lovely man, um, kind-hearted soul, and just really gentle. Um, but and very well-meaning and with a vast knowledge of the game, um, and he still is. <laughs> Um, but yeah. When was the first time you met Tom and what was your impression of Tom? First impression of Tom, you know, he's got a little bit of a hard edge to him. Um, but that intrigued me. Um, 
because I like different people. <laughs> I don't know. It was just like I want to get to kind of know this guy a bit more because he was he, he wasn't as forthcoming as all the other coaches. He was kind of reserved and stayed to himself. But I wanted to. I was interested in that. Um, but yeah, he's a basically no nonsense, no nonsense coach, no nonsense person, um, which I really respect. And but you can tell that he loves the game and he loves to coach. Um, Determined, determined players. So if you're a player who just you need help getting it active, you need help getting the energy, go somewhere else. You need to have the energy, you know, within yourself, the drive, the heart within yourself, and he'll he'll love to coach a kind of player like that. What kind of experience did you have the first time you were at hoops? First time I was at hoops, um, you know, I was just kind of following everybody. I didn't really know what I was doing much um, you know we're doing the shootout drills and it was just very fundamental what we were learning you know it was it was very um, basic but stuff that other people don't really do you know and it's kind of taken for granted those kind of things like jump stop jump with your two feet so you can have both pivot feet whichever you know whichever one you choose to use you know when you grab the ball triple threat it's called triple threat on the place, but you know, protect the ball and then you know, don't waste any movement. Simple things like that, and just it was just very refreshing to just go from the ground up with you know what I was learning. So, how do you think hoops has helped you in your life? Hoops has helped me tremendously, you know, that's why I, you know, I'm going to training camp in the WNBA very soon, and all I was thinking was, I need to get back to hoops, I need to get back to hoops. Like I'm in Atlanta, you know, training with, with my trainer. I'm just like, I need to get back to hoops. This is what I know works, and I know what I know will help me. And it's kind of different me just being with myself and working out than just being in this kind of environment where it's, you know, a sense of uh, purpose is like fostered, and you're just learning together, and you're learning the right things. Um, and I, you know, I'm here. I've been here two days or something, and I, I feel like I'm. A new, <laughs> completely different player now, and I am. I mean, the things we do here is amazing, and I'm just so thankful for it. If you can talk to any of the hoop students or anyone that might be interested in the program, what would you say to them to sell them on the program to say, hey, this is where you need to be? I don't even need to sell per se. I'm just going to tell you, you know, tell you what my experiences are, and that's, you know, I've improved leaps and bounds. I mean, the first time I was even you know, when I came to the States, you know, I wasn't really being looked at, recruited by other schools. And I came to Hoops, I remember working with Rich and my other teammate for one month straight, every day in the gym, two a days, just working at it, working at it, one month straight. As soon as I, after that one month uh, was up, we played a game with the, the, the Demons, I would start being recruited by all the schools around the country simply just because of that one month, to be honest. Um, like, there isn't really much to say other than everyone, this is for everyone. It's not just for young people, it's not just for middle school or whatever. This is from young to the pros. Like, even me now, needing, feeling the need to come back kind of just shows how much I feel like I get out of this. Um, and the thing is that you, you, you can train anywhere, but if you're not, fully into it, if you don't have heart, if you're not mentally invested, there's no point in you doing it. And here, I think, you know, you work on the basics, you work on the foundations, and if you're able to be mentally invested in that, it's gonna help you in leap, leaps and bounds. So, and yeah. lastly, what was, uh, what's one thing that you have left with that Hoops has taught you, not only on the court, but has helped you off the court as well? As I said, you heard me say this before, if you're gonna do something, do it with the best of your ability. If, you're, if you can't do it with the best of your, of your abilities, don't do it. There's no point you wasting your time half-assing something, you know, being okay with mediocrity. Why, why are you doing it for, you know? So if you're gonna do something, do it to the best of your abilities. That's all. That's on and off the court, you know? <laughs> Thank you so much, Danny. Thank you.